Hello, everybody. My name is Ms. Peach, and I will be your science teacher here at Wisconsin Connections Academy this school year. So I am going to talk to you a little bit about um, me a little bit, about my classes, and about some things that might help you become more successful in one of your science classes this school year. <clears throat> so just a, a little bit about me. This is my family here. And um, you will see that this is a picture of us hiking up in Upper Michigan. This was actually from about two summers ago. And um, I live in Kimberly with my two children, Megan and Peyton, and my boyfriend, Tony, here pictured on the left. And um, Peyton is a student at Fox Valley Tech College. He's a sophomore this year. He's 19 years old. My daughter will be turning 17 in one week from um, today. Yes, from today. And so I put down a 17, even though she's not quite 17 yet, but she is going to be 17 shortly. And she is going to be a junior at Kimberly High School in the fall as well. We also live with our three adorable cats. Um, we have in the middle here, I put, I put him first because he's my favorite, but don't tell the other guys that he's my favorite. But here is Spooky. Spooky is our cat of seven years. Um, he's a great cat. He loves being outside. Um, he does only a roam in our own backyard with supervision, so he's not able to go out on his own. But we found him as a stray kitten when he was just, just an itty-bitty baby. And then we have Saffron over here. She is just turned four years old, and this is a typical Saffron pose here on the living room carpeting. She likes to just kind of like lounge, and she's just very easygoing. <clears throat> and then we have our newest addition, Saber, who is just a year old. We've only had him for about six months. Um, he was also a stray. He was found by one of my friends. And so we uh, we took him in to give him a home because he didn't have one. Um, and he is being very naughty in this picture by sleeping in the uh, dish rack on the counter. So, you know, not really an appropriate place for a cat. But it was cute enough that I took a picture of it and then promptly shooed him out of the dish rack. All right, so the classes that I teach, teach, you probably have me for one of these. And if, if you don't have one of these classes, then you shouldn't really necessarily be watching this. <laughs> at least this won't help you any, at all because these are the only science classes that I have this school year. So I do teach anatomy and physiology. That's a first semester only class that's available pretty much mostly for 11th and 12th graders. Um, Astronomy is a second semester class. Biology runs all year. It is a required class for all students. Um, and Earth and well, all students at some point in their high school career. Earth and space science is also a full year class. So is marine science, and so is physics. So I'll talk to you a little bit more about these classes. Not a lot of detail about each class, because I'll be doing that separately you know, for your classes. But I'll kind of go through some of the, the guidelines for those classes right now. So. Um, for all your classes, you will be taking some sort of assessment. Quizzes, quick checks, and tests are the three types of assessments. And it varies from class to class what type of assessments you have <clears throat> and how much they're worth. And so there's also somewhat of a variation in, in policies on grading because of the variations in classes. So for three of my classes, anatomy, physiology, astronomy, and marine science, you don't have any tests except for your semester test. So you only have quizzes. Um, all quizzes in all classes, for me, are open notes, open reading, right? So if you're taking a quiz, you can go back to your notes, and you can look answers up. You can reread parts of your reading assignment to make sure you understand it before you answer on those quizzes, and that's totally acceptable. Um, the only thing I would say that you cannot do is search your answers out online. I don't want you Googling answers because that's not really a way you're learning at all. It's kind of just a shortcut and a little, not really helping you understand the material. So go back and reread. Um, that's completely acceptable, but don't look up answers online. So open notes on quizzes. Because you only have one test and it's the semester test, it's a really big test. Um, I don't make that completely closed notes for you. So if you're in anatomy, if you are in marine science, astronomy, one of those three classes, you will have a study guide for your semester test and it will be open study guide. So you can use that study guide on your test. For other classes, earth science, 
And biology, for example, here, it's pretty standard. Quick checks and quizzes are open notes, open reading, and tests are closed notes. You do get study guides in advance, which I highly recommend learning them and studying from them because they will strongly parallel your test. And you'll be able to use those study guides to prepare for your test, but you won't be able to use the study guides on the tests. And then physics, it's a little bit of a harder class. In fact, there's only four of you right now that are enrolled in physics, so there's not very many kids take it because it's a pretty advanced class. So it's open notes throughout. I do limit for tests the notes to a single four by six note card rather than a bunch of notes, um, but otherwise open notes. But you do have some opportunities in physics that aren't there in the other classes simply because of the difficulty of it. So in physics, you can retake your quizzes one time. So if you do poorly on the quiz and you want to retake it, you need to have it reset by me. It will automatically give you a different quiz, so you won't retake the same quiz. But just make sure that you meet with me if you're still confused before you take that second quiz, because you can't take it three times. So you have to know what you're doing before you take it the second time. You cannot retake your tests, however, I do accept test corrections. And with test corrections, you need to write up the question you got wrong, you need to tell me why you got it wrong, and then you need to calculate and show me how to do it correctly. I don't want just answers, you have to show me your work, your thinking on all of that as well. So you can email me those test corrections and you can get additional points back on your tests that way. You will also get a schedule that looks a lot like this. Now the 2021-2022 schedule is not published yet, so I couldn't give you that to look at. So the times are gonna be a little bit different, but the concept is the same. For each one of your classes, you will locate your class on the schedule, and then you will see the days and the times that that schedule, that class is scheduled for a live lesson. For example, biology, there's a live lesson on Mondays from 9.45 to 10.30, and on Thursdays from 2.30 to 3.15. Those are live, okay? So you're gonna go to my live lesson room, click on the LL symbol next to my name on, my home, on your homepage, and each class is different. So the class on Monday will be different from the class on Thursday. So you can't just, you know, think that you'll attend one of them and they'll be the same information. Remember that you are only required to attend one live class per week in any subject of your choosing. So you only have to go to one. It doesn't matter what, what class that is. However, we highly recommend you go to more because we definitely see a strong correlation between students that go to virtual classes and students that do well in those classes. A few important dates for you to know. Your virtual classes will begin on Monday. September the 13th. So that's the first day of those live classes or those live lessons. And then we have something called Headcount Day, which is on Friday the 17th of September. We'll talk more about that or your homeroom teacher will talk more about that with you. Um, but we just need to make sure that you make contact with your homeroom teacher on that date so that you are officially counted as a student at WCA. Something new this year. This is something I'm calling the teacher landing page. I don't think we have an official name for it yet. But on your, your Connexus homepage, you will have a link to this. And this is officially called Wisconsin Connections Academy right now, but I think Mrs. Miller might change the name of it. But it's basically a Google spreadsheet with all of the teachers and the different subjects. So for you would scroll over and find the column for science, and then you would find the class that you are scheduled for. So I will go to biology. When you click on that, that's gonna take you to the biology page. And this is just a Google um, doc. It's really nothing special. Just has some kind of key information. So this is a place for us to put information that might be not just relevant all the time, but some things that might be happening in biology. So on the top of this, I just had the days of my, or the times and days of my virtual classes. And then I have a link to my website, which we will go through in a minute. 
And then I have a link to weekly announcements here, which I will go through with you in a minute as well. And then I have some live lesson recordings. We haven't had any live lessons yet, so there's nothing to put here. But once we do, I will make sure that I put the links for the recordings here. So all your live lessons are recorded. So if you're not able to attend that live lesson, you can watch it later. Um, or if you have attended the live lesson, like, a, like maybe we're doing a review for a test and you want to watch it again, you can go ahead and look at that link as well. Remember that watching the link while awesome isn't going to meet that one live class requirement for the week. So that live class requirement has to be live. Weekly announcements. Well, every week I'm going to publish an announcement for each class. Kind of gives you the week, the happenings of that class for the week. It's, an, it's also a place for me to put any kind of changes that might be happening in that class. So if you're in biology, it says, welcome to biology. Make sure to check out my website and watch the introduction video. It will explain a lot about this course. You should be working on your lessons this week. You should complete through unit one, lesson two, the building blocks of life. There are no lesson modifications this week. So there's no lesson changes the first week of earth science and I'm instructing, or of um, biology, and I'm instructing you to make sure you finish lesson two, the building blocks of life by the end of the week. So if there were changes, let's say I wanted to make a change in a portfolio or something wasn't functioning properly and I wanted to make sure you knew about it, that's where I would put this information. So the other thing that is on here is a link to my website. I'm actually going to bring up a different class than biology because biology is a little special. You guys have a little bit more stuff on your website. So let me bring up that link here. So you can see here's my Earth and Space Science website. So on my website, you're going to find some more stuff. Like, for example, I give you in this particular website, there's two discussions. This is the stuff you're going to need to do for those discussions. So I'm just giving you a little video to go over what needs to be done for those discussions. I also do a video recording for each one of the portfolios that you have so that you know how to do the portfolio. <clears throat> so a portfolio is a, just a fancy, awful description. Um, it's not a very great descriptor, but it's used for every class to describe kind of that performance assessment, something that you're doing, not just taking a test or a quiz, but you're actually doing. And in science, more the often than not, these are labs that you're completing. So this is a video explaining what do I need to do for the lab? And then usually there's like a worksheet that goes along with it as well. My mouse is being kind of naughty right now. It's being very sticky. Come on, mouse, what are you doing? Okay. All the more reason why I don't like sometimes these. One second, guys. Sometimes these uh, digital mouses don't work as fast. There we go. I don't think it likes my mouse pad. <clears throat> All right, let's get back to... All right, so we also have my website, which I kind of went through with you as well just a moment ago, and that's going to be um, for all classes. And that's pretty much it. Kind of goes over in a nutshell, a little bit about me, a little bit about the classes, a little bit about the tools that I've provided for you to help you be more successful in those classes. If you have any questions or concerns, <clears throat> if you can't find something or anything. Just contact me through webmail, through Connexus is the best way, or you can send me, um, you can call me. My school extension is 2204. You guys have the number for our, um, our school line as well, and I will be happy to answer them. Otherwise, thank you all for coming in, and I hope you have a fabulous day.